Jose Aldo Jr. Connor relaxed and smiling. Oh! Of that conditioning a little bit. Oh, oh a beautiful left hand again. He looks from Regan Dial with that jab. That right hand, it has been landing on you on occasion. I think the right hand could be, if you look at the, I felt when we stared down, I felt his right hand was twitching a little bit, but it was a subtle tell for me. He is, he is ready to un unload that right hand, but I feel that could be a downfall for him if he, if he lets that right hand go, I will not be there. Way is, is not good for them. And you are micro learning in the moment as they're fighting? 100%. I will analyze reactions in there. If I feel he, if I faint and he reacts some way, I will faint and give, I will give him that reaction to set him up for something else. I will create traps and dead space inside that, that octagon all over, all over the place and I will walk him into it like a zombie. That is what I plan to do with Jose. I plan to set him up, trap him, lead him into dead space. Lead him where he feels he is safe, but all of a sudden it's a trap and he is in big danger. So that's how I feel I will play with the fight. It's going to be a beautiful thing this year. Force their shots, and I think I honestly believe power is an illusion. It's the per perception of power is like if it's tense and squeezed, but to me, that's that can be seen a mile away. So I just like to place and just just let it go. It's four ounce gloves, you just need to tip the chin, and that's it. Well, it's certain. inside that, that octagon all over all over the place and I will walk him into it like a zombie. That is what I plan to do with Jose. I plan to set him up, trap him, lead him into dead space, lead him where he feels he is safe, but all of a sudden it's a trap and he is in big danger. So that's how I feel I will play with the fight. It's gonna be a beautiful thing this year.